So I do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Rochelle. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing a collab that I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys. So it is the Lottie London Times Tweely palette. I've also got a couple of the other products from her range. So the glitter and some of the lipsticks as well. So we're going to be jumping into that in a moment. I also going to be trying this on my eyes even though I've got my brand new eyelashes on so big shout out to Dressers Beauty Bar who hooked me up with these gorgeous eyelash extensions and stay tuned because there will be a video about my experience um, up in the next week. I'd like to start off by saying that I haven't actually tried anything from Lottie London before so this will be my first time. Um, I know that they're a sibling company I'm gonna say, cousin company, something like that of Ciate London. So I'm expecting their products to be slightly similar because that's not out of the ordinary. But I'm gonna go on a whim and assume that are a bit more of a affordable brand because they're sold in Superdrug. So they're really nice and accessible for everyone. So I picked up first and foremost their brand new palette. It's called Living My Best Life. I'm just going to read out the little blurb on the back, which over here, which I think was so cute actually. So she's written, this collection is dedicated to all of my amazing followers who have supported me in ways I could have never even dreamed. Remember to never stop believing in yourself. You have the power to change it all. It's time to start living your best life, love to be. I'm actually really excited to review this collection. I'm a big fan of Tweely. If you know me in person, you'd know that. Um, and she's, she's just a big inspiration for me. Hopefully these live up to expectations. I'm really excited to start. I'm gonna jump right in, actually. This is the palette right here. It's got this lovely luminous gold on the inside. The packaging is like quite lightweight. And then we have all of the shimmers along here at the top. And then all of the mattes at the bottom. Instantly, there's like a few shades that stand out to me. Um, so like the warm tones. I love, I love warm tones. I love warm tone palettes. I always go for warm toned colours. So it, to me, this is beautiful, especially the mattes. I'm actually going to swatch a few before I try them on. Oh, that was a big old swatch. <laughs> I got so much up on my finger. So in order, this is one million Coquelina and Gemini. And then these three over here are Bish, Shirk, and Yellow. And then last but not least, I have Rebel for Life. They're super duper pigmented. Oh my gosh. I think. Do you know what? There's so much that is like standing out to me. Like I don't know which to pick, which is my favourite so far out of these. They're also bright and eye catching. And then I'll show you the mattes. So this in order is literally Porky and Chicketarian over here. I think, oh sorry, that was a really bad swatch of Chikatarian. <laughs> I think from those, Chikatarian is my favourite so far. We have over here, Firebam, Red Velvet and Hey Guys. And then last but not least, and I really love this name, No Tea, No Shade, which is super black. I can think of like a, a lot of smoky looks that that would work with immediately. So swatches so far so good. Let's try them out on my eyes and see how it weighs up. And yes, by the way, I am in a full tiger onesie. I am really comfortable because I'm feeling like super, <laughs> look at that. I'm feeling a little bit ill. So um, I want to be nice and comfy and warm. I don't want to be in fancy pants clothing. I just want to relax. I'm gonna start 
with this shade. Hey guys. So I know. <laughs> That's my sister. I know this shade has been described as something quite similar to Swiss chocolate, which is one of my all time favorite um, blushes to use. Like I use this all the time as not, I don't use it as a blush. I use it as a contour color. Sometimes use it on my eyes as well. I'm going to use this today as a transition shade. And yeah, that is super pigmented. You can see that already. Like I've barely put any on and I've used the fluffy brush and it's already picking up quite a lot. What I will say from the swatches, I thought it was quite like a buttery consistency actually. It's very lightweight. If I compare it quickly to Hey Guys over here to Swiss Chocolate. Right here, oh that was a really bad swatch. Okay, actually. So, hey guys, seems a little bit richer. It's quite nice actually. Maybe a slight bit more warm toned. Very pretty. To be honest, this is one of those shades that you could sort of get away with just by itself. Like as a, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, eyeshadow look. Pretty. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be doing that this whole time. It's just so pretty. And the blendability is wonderful. And I don't say that lightly because I've had quite a few eyeshadows that have been really, like, very difficult to blend. So, like, I don't want to give that away too easily. But for an affordable brand, it's quite good. I'm done with Hey Guys. So, I'm going to go in with a bit of Rebel for Life. I think it's calling my name today. I like the girl who hadn't done because I know of everything just sweet, so sweet. Wasn't that a Rihanna song? I swear it's called. Oh no, that's G Fiat. G. Gangster for life, gangster for life, never mind. Oh my gosh, look at that pigment. Wow. I hope you guys are seeing this because that is crazy. Look how beautiful that is. Honestly, every shade, every shade in this palette speaks to me. I love like the jewel tonedness to it. I keep smacking this palette about like crazy. This is what people with long eyelashes must be like. The struggle to get into this corner is like real. Must be a nice problem to have. Oh brush those lashes back in place and dresser the lash technician gave me this little spoonie to brush my lashes with and I thought that was quite a nice touch because the last time I got them done I didn't have anything like there was no sort of aftercare gifts it's a spoolie but still come on so I'm going to take this beautiful emerald green shade called Yolo and I'm going to press that in the center oh Wait, there's none on the brush. I'm digging in a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that, Lord Jesus. Okay, after every turn, I'm just gonna end up brushing my lashes straight again. Ah. Uh. So, I feel like it's time to whip out the big guns. So I'm going to be using the Diamond Dips in the shade So Instagrammable. I'm well excited to use this. I love a bit of glitter, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> the colour of that is stunning. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, it's so dense. Like the glitter is so densely concentrated. Was not ready. I was not prepared at all for that. <laughs> it's me thinking I'm going in small. But 
look at that. Wow. That's honestly more than a pop. <laughs> that is a big pop. <laughs> That's an explosion. <laughs> What I'll say about the glitter so far though, what I'm noticing is that it doesn't really seem to budge that much, which is good because glitters just go crazy. When, once they transfer, <laughs> that's game over basically. But yeah, they're being quite good. I feel like once it sets completely, it's good. Let me give an example. Like, just barely any glitter if you can see that on my finger. I'm just going to replicate what I did on the other side and then I'm going to be right back to try on the lipsticks. I'm going to tap my under eyes with a little bit more of YOLO. I'm going to do my inner corner. I'm scared I'm doing too much almost. Like I'm really nervous. So let's try. So it looks so vibrant as is. It's also like wow. I'm going to go in with some of... 1 million beautiful gold shade for me a palette is as good as its gold shade is there needs to be a gold in every single palette as far as i'm concerned that color is just ah <laughs> i'm gonna dust it on my inner corner that wasn't so much for dust as it was just to <laughs> smack it on my inner corner okay let's blend that out yeah. There we go. Yeah, that one's quite cute. It's very yellow toned. So we've tried the palette, we've tried So Instagrammable Glitter. We're gonna move on to lipsticks. So the reason that I only bought two of the three lipsticks was because um, for me, nude shades, I need to try them on before, or even swatch them on my skin tone before I invest in them really. And these two I knew would work for me regardless because of the tones of them are so like deep. Um, but I ordered these online. Oh. I ordered these online so I didn't have the opportunity to so unfortunately I won't be testing that out today. Oh I'll quickly read the label as well because it says read me first and I'm just whacking into the product. <laughs> so it says how to use one apply an even coat to lips, two leave to dry for a minute, three press lips together and reveal the glitter magic. Okay I'm excited to try these now even more excited to try these so i have two shades here i have ravenous which is this rich christmasy sort of red and then i have a deep pink in the shade extra af so i'll swatch them side by side so this one here is ravenous And then this one here is extra AF. Slightly different, subtly so. I feel like the undertones are different more than anything else. So I feel like I'm gonna go for a red. And these, I think they're actually like matte colors as well liquid lipstick yes yeah, so i'm assuming it's going to be matte and these i think they're actually like matte colors as well liquid lipstick yes yeah, so i'm assuming it's going to be matte the only kind of matte that i like is a liquid matte i feel like if it's not a liquid matte, it goes on so dry that it's not even worth it for me. I hate the feeling of dry lips. Smells good. It smells like, um, there's like, I don't know, it, 
it's like a shampoo or something that it reminds me of. I can't put, pinpoint the smell. Oh, it smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon shampoo. It smells like watermelon. I feel like this lip color with these eyes is doing a little bit too much. It's doing the most. Um, I look extra AF. Oh, I look extra AF. Um, is that the one that I'm actually wearing? <laughs> Who knows? Um, I feel like it would work really nicely with some of like the cranberry shades and the pink shades. So let's see the magic happen first hand. This is the first time I've tried something like this. Oh, I've got some on my teeth. But I see the glitter. It's kind of like a pinky luster. It's really pretty actually. I feel like this is the kind of like blue red that makes your teeth look whiter as well actually I will mention. Kind of like Ruby Woo. Okay, on to the next. Okay, round two, we're going in with extra AF this time around. Okay, so I wasn't really seeing it in the swatches, but now that I'm actually applying it to my lips, I can really see the contrast between the two shades. This one is definitely a deep pink. This shade is everything, like everything, everything, everything. Wow. Eyes aside, this with like nude eyes. Oh my gosh. This was beautiful. Um, I'll go over the pricing quickly. So the Living My Best Life palette retails for $8.95. The Diamond Dips Glitter in So Instagrammable retails for $4.95. The two Glitter Switch Liquid Lipsticks retail for $6.95 each. My favourite of them is probably going to be the palette just because it's got such versatile colours and I'm a real sucker for warm tones as well so it really works for me. You've got the shimmers, you've got your mattes, you've got your lights, you've got your brights, like it's just everything in a palette for me, that's all I would need. So I'm finally done giving my two pence. If you enjoyed the video, give it a huge thumbs up. It really makes a difference. And feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. I'll be keeping you posted on my eyelash extensions and how that went for me in a video soon. So stay tuned. See you guys later. Mwah. And Oh my gosh. Probably. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Leanne. Favourite is probably going to be the palette. It's just very...